In 2016, AlphaGo made headlines when it beat the world champion in Go. In 2017, AlphaZero defeated the strongest chess engine at the time. But it is 2022 and the time for games is over. DeepMind applied the AlphaZero magic to solving real world problems. Their new AI, AlphaTensor, was able to find new, more efficient algorithms for matrix multiplication. This is an amazing breakthrough that can result in energy and cost savings for any companies reliant on heavy computation. This is a very short summary of this research aimed at non-technical audience. For technical audience, I suggest to read the original paper published in Nature or watch a great one hour video by Yannick Kilher. Both links are in the description. Let's break down why this is such a big deal. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers that is extremely common tool used in mathematics and is usually taught in high school. Matrix multiplication is a basic operation that is used by a variety of processes on your smartphone, like compressing data, generating graphics, and many more. When two matrices are multiplied, there are a lot of numbers that need to be added or multiplied. When these matrices get big, this becomes very computationally demanding. So any improvements in this process are a big deal. One thing to note, for computers, multiplications are much more demanding than additions. So if you have an algorithm that can decrease the number of multiplications needed, then you save yourself some computing power. Let me explain this on a simple algorithm. Let's say we need to calculate a squared minus b squared. This requires two multiplications and one subtraction. But we also know that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. If you don't believe me, you can multiply it out. a times a is a squared, a times minus b is minus ab, b times a is ab, and b times minus b is minus b squared. The minus ab and plus ab cancel out, and you can see it's the same thing. So this term a plus b times a minus b requires one addition, one subtraction, and only one multiplication. So it's computationally easier than the a squared minus b squared. In 1969, Volker Strassen published an algorithm for multiplying matrices. Here on the DeepMind blog, they illustrate this very nicely. So we have a two by two matrix multiplying by another two by two matrix. And here we have the standard algorithm. As you can see, it requires eight multiplications, but Strassen developed an algorithm that only requires seven multiplications, and this is computation less demanding and therefore advantageous. You might think it's not such a big deal to go from eight to seven multiplications, but if you do the math, it's more than 10% improvement. Humans were able to develop algorithms for small matrices like two by two, but once the matrix size gets much bigger, our brains are not enough. This is where Alpha Tensor comes in. DeepMind turned the search for these algorithms into a single player game and then let Alpha Tensor play it until it found superior algorithms. This is an incredibly hard game, much more complex than even Go, which was a hard nut to crack for AI. So the AI can't just randomly search for the jackpot. It uses tree search algorithm with reinforcement learning. To illustrate, let me give you a chess example. When you start a game, you can move any of your eight pawns or two knights for a total of 20 possible moves. But after you learn the game a little, you know that some opening moves are better than the others. So in future games, you pick the best moves and work from there. Neural nets do the same thing. They focus on the tree branch that is most likely to result in a win and don't waste computation on the others. Let's talk some results. Alpha Tensor was able to rediscover the algorithms previously discovered by humans and then proceed to find new algorithms that are even more efficient. What is super cool is that they can tailor Alpha Tensor to optimize it for a particular hardware. For example, Nvidia V100 GPU or Google TPU version 2. DeepMind claims possible improvements of 10 to 20%, which is huge. Imagine all the savings in energy and in cost of GPUs. One interesting thing that I noticed is that it took over a year from first submission to publication of this paper. Nature is one of the top journals and a long review cycle is common, particularly for fields where people need to do lab experiments like chemistry and biology. But I do wonder what kept this amazing work from the public for a year. Let me know down in the comments if you have any guesses. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.